Well, I suppose a miserable cold bloody day here in the Riverland, so it's a good day to be in the shed melting wax, which is what we're going to be doing. We're going to, over here we've got all our frames that we've got to clean up. We're going to put some water in here to actually separate some of the shit underneath the water, and some of the stuff will float on top of the water, and hopefully there will be a whatever layer that's called. I was going to call it an inversion layer, but I think that's in the atmosphere. So that'll be our stage one of cleaning the wax off these bloody, <laughs> off these brood frames. And hopefully our new base actually makes it all happen. If the base doesn't make any sense to you, just go back an episode, because that happened last time. Here we go, we'll stick some water in. This is our, this is stage one. We'll fire up the burner. See, I might go and put that onto the tap because it takes a while to fill up. I wonder if I need another one. I reckon I'm going to have to put one more above there. Oh, shit, it's cold out there in that wind. <laughs> I reckon we'll put one more in there and then we'll have more than we want, but... Where does that go? More than we want, but not as much as we need. No. <laughs> it's the other way around, isn't it? <laughs> Here we go. Anyway, this should do it, I reckon. <sighs> Kill. <laughs> Drop that on my head. <laughs> oh, you go. You know, now for the fun part, we've got to start cutting the wax out. But before we do that, I think I'm going to go and get a beanie on. It's friggin' freezing. So hold on there, and I'll be back in a minute. Check this shit out, eh? It's nice to have a mother-in-law that loves you. She's sat down and she's knitted me a bush bee man beanie. How cool is that? <laughs> Can't get a broad beam hat with a bush bee man on it, but I got a beanie with it on there. I don't know if she's taking orders, but hell, you never know. Stranger things have happened. If there's enough interest, we might be able to get her to knit a few more bush bee man hats. So if you want to check out some cool bloody gluten-free recipes, nip over to Free to Cook and check out Naughty Natalie's cooking show. She'll show you how to make some awesome shit. Well, the soup's nearly ready, so it's starting to get going. <laughs> Got a bit of heat coming off of there, so it's time to start busting up our wax. I bought myself a frame cleaning tool, which is, I don't know, sort of okay. I've got a crappy old paint scraper with, I'm going to give the lad. If you're wondering what happened there, that was another mishap. Had a little fire out here cooking some food, cooking the dog's food. But this is probably my favourite item so far. It's an old bloomin' I think it's a putty knife, I think it is. Seems to be the best thing to use for this whole project, so. Anyway, you use whatever you wish to. Ugh. Help, there's a bit of muck. Now, hang on, I might go and get myself a tool knife. It's a bit extra on the roof, we might as well have that too. Oh, maintenance 101, holy gosh. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. <laughs> Is that English I'm thinking? Yeah. Anyway, as we go through this process, I'm going to try and update some of these boxes. Being that it's been such a shit year and we haven't had such a rapid expansion, I figure probably a good opportunity to bite the bullet, throw out some of that old second-hand crap that's got holes and leaking and rough-ass bits like that, get rid of that, and actually start off with some cool-ass boxes. Because I got some bees from a dude down at um, Wakery not so long ago in his wooden boxes and it they were all nice and sealed, and so the girls didn't run out and attack me like normal, so. I think I'm sold on the idea. Get your shit sorted. Oh, these are bloody our friendly moths that have been gassed, so we'll get rid of them. Little blighters. Now, there's a lot of different ideas on how to get this wax out of here, and I'm sure if you're watching this, you've got your own. But I just found it just to cut it off a bit, go through the wires. Of course, I mean, if we've got a plastic sheet, you've got to do that a bit different, but if you find one of them in here, we'll do that as well. Oh, the things I do, so as a girl, your wife can make some bloody lip balm. I tell you what. Now, I found, if you get yourself, I did used to have this, well, the lad's going to do it in the plastic pot over there that I used to use, but I found you had to put them and hold it on the edge, and it was a bit hard to keep all the, catch all the bits. So I found this old woman wooden 
I don't know what it was from actually. I think it was out of an old bench that had wooden drawers underneath it or something rather. Anyway, it's just ideal for this. Catches all the shrapnel and all the bits and pieces rather than it being trying to work inside the box. So don't forget to clean your ends because that's always a pain in the ass when you put them all back in. You want to scrape all this crap off of here while we're going. I'm going to have a go at dipping these in some hot water to finish cleaning them up. You want to get them to a point where you can actually be sensible. I throw, once upon a time, I tried throwing the whole blooming frame in the hot water. <laughs> that was not terribly successful, so. I've had a few goes and a few different ideas. Anyway, here we are. Oh. Wonder if that's how guitars got invented. On the beach. I can't think of a song that isn't copyrighted. <laughs> Obviously, we've got to get the wax in the pot, so normally I throw a bit up, chuck a bit up like this. It's pretty high tech. <laughs> Rattle it all to one end, oh, and then we just tip it in. I've got my paper and stirring stick here somewhere. No expense spared. <laughs> Just drop it in the water. Pop it in there like that and get it all a bit warm. By now we've turned the heat down a bit because we've got it up to a speed. You don't want it boiling its ass off because that's a bit crazy. It doesn't need to be ridiculously hot. It just needs to be, I don't know, above 50 degrees Celsius, whatever that is in Fahrenheit. -y. Don't get too excited and go out and get a thermometer. I mean, that's just... Anyway, I suppose you can if you really want to, but it doesn't matter. You just don't want it boiling its tits off, you just want it simmering. That's a bit of chef technology for you, which just means the water is just tipping over. Anyway, on we go. Being that this is a bit of a laborious task, we might put on the music so you don't have to be completely bored. So, little, 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 whatever that song is, and we'll do it up a bit quicker. Smells pretty good. Smells a bit like wax soup. Anyway, we just turn up our heat. Oh yeah. Now, you actually want to let it settle out a little, little while, so it's just got time to relax and sort of find a bit of equilibrium. I think the neighbours are having some fun with their toys, but anyway, over oh, the joys of youth. <laughs> anyway, first of all, the first part that's going to come out of here is just going to be mucky water. So you just got to keep a bit of an eye on it. Interestingly enough, of course, the wax and the water is all sort of absorbed. Well, not the wax, the other muck is absorbed. And you'll end up with a little bit of wax on the top, but no, well, hell, I don't know. You can't get everything. Lovely soup. It's even in the soup pot now. <laughs> oh my god. Look at that. It says stock pot. <laughs> that be called, um,. Wax stock. <laughs> this is just the muck. This is just the water that we put in. Remember we put the water in? And so now this is just all the sludge in the in the water. So hopefully there's going to be a wax layer between this muck on the top and the water on the bottom. That's the plan anyway. 
So that's just water at the minute. So we'll go and chuck that out. Oh, help, that's heavy. <laughs> Try not to get that down your foot. <laughs> it's like that radiator, isn't it? A little bit safer than the radiator. <laughs> Now, if you don't know what a bloke's rattling on about, you should go back to episode 150 and check out the radiator madness. Uh, anyway, I shouldn't encourage you. <laughs> Onward to more sensible stuff. <laughs> Hopefully, if, the, if there's some wax in here somewhere, the consistency should change a bit. Or maybe not. Perhaps we've just spent the whole afternoon fucking around. And that's starting to come now. You see, it's just starting to settle on the top. So the thing is, it doesn't really matter if you've got water and wax in the same saucepan at this point because it'll, it'll settle out and the wax will go hard on the top and the other stuff will stay on the bottom which is what will happen if you do it in more complicated methods but this is just, I don't know, I just found this a hell of a lot easier. So yeah, so it doesn't matter. Now, well, now we've got, at the minute, we've got wax and water mixed together and if you put your finger in the pot, if you don't get burnt, you've already got wax starting to go on the top. Oh, that's like being in the science class, isn't it? Bloody hot wax on your finger. Oh, it's not the smartest thing I've ever done this week. <laughs> ha! Get back in there! Oh, look at that, that's pure wax. Now, stop. Because we've got, we've got that in here, and then we're going to get... <laughs> that was the last excitement. Now, hopefully, this pot will have a bit better wax in it if it doesn't disintegrate. Oh, the hell, Harry! What's that? What's that line out of that Harry Potter movie? You can't even check. Yeah, we haven't managed to. We haven't managed to keep all the crap out. <laughs> I guess if you got really motivated at this stage, you could have a strainer on this bit. But we're going to do it all again anyway. And now it's gone and blocked up, which is what I was trying to avoid with our special screen. the stick. <laughs> oh god. That's not really a stick, but that's something. Anyway, we'll get that out of the way because it'll come out with a bit of a rush and overshoot that. Oh well, maybe the whole mesh making thing was pointless. It's not as blocked up as it was without it. <laughs> so we might need another pot. <laughs> Still yellow? Yep. <laughs> it's a lot better option than trying to scoop the shit off the top there. It's what we used to do, so. Anyway, I think this is quite an effective little method. I've got my patented little stick so I can tip it up a bit more. <sighs> Shit. <laughs> Don't drop it off the stand. That would really suck. It's still going in the bucket. <laughs> anyway, we're nearly there. Just a word of warning. Don't leave this in here to get too bloody cold because I did that one other time. Well, before my mesh idea. I left this crap in here until the morning and there was a hell of a circus. Trying to get it out, I had to get a blooming. Oh, well, I ended up with a shovel and a pick. <laughs> trying to dig it out. <laughs> so yeah, get rid of it when it cools down a bit, but don't go picking it up right now because it's too bloody hot. But what are we going to put the rest in? <laughs> Goodness gracious! We'll put some more in that that pot for a start. Then over here, out the way. Shall we put that down there? Now yeah, don't put your foot in that, because that could be awkward. That's still much, pretty much wax. It's not a very good tray, young John. <laughs> I need another bucket. And that's pretty good. So round one over and done with. Whew. Hell, I'll tell you what, 
Anyway, I reckon that's a hell of a lot easier than getting the other options I've tried, so give it a crack and see what you reckon. <laughs>